Hey guys, I'd like to introduce the newest product from Space Brain Circuits, which is the MIDI Volts desktop. So the device is a 1 volt per octave MIDI to CV controller. It has four CV outs, which basically means, depending on the mode you select, you can get up to four note polyphony. Um, the device is heavily based on my MIDI Volt Shield, Arduino Uno Shield, that got pretty popular on my Etsy page. So first, I just want to do a quick explanation of how the device works, and then we'll get into some sound demos. Okay, so I'd like to go over the different modes that the, the device has. So currently it's on mono mode because the switch is up to the A and then the toggle switch is up to the mono position. So basically what that means is the device is working in a monophonic mode obviously, which basically means V0 is going to be your pitch CV and then V1, V2, and V3 will be assigned to something different. And you can tell what those assignments are by checking this tiny little chart um, on the left side of the device. So in this case, like I said, V0 is pitch CV, V1 is velocity, V2 is aftertouch, and then V3 is CC1, um, which out of the box is assigned to modulation wheel. So let's go ahead and do a demo of that. So I just have my multimeter connected to the CV output. So when we press a note, you can see we're getting pitch changes. Um, and also, as you can see, when I press a note, the gate LED lights up, and that's because because the CV is acting as pitch CV, you're getting a gate of 5 volts um, also outputted to trigger um, envelopes or what else, whatever else you would want to trigger. Okay, so the next mode is duophonic mode, which is duo here. So basically in this one, um, your first note will be assigned to V0, and then your second note plate will be assigned to V1. So, as you can see, how both LEDs light up as I play. And then also, this is true for all the different polyphonic modes, but your, your last note will be overwritten if you play more notes than what is allowed for that mode. So in this case, you can see I'm adjusting these last two notes, but they're just being assigned to V1. So we can actually show you two. Let's do that. So you can see two. So that's basically how that works. Um, mode after that is unison. So basically this just assigns the same voltage to each voice. And the reason I kept this one in here is because um, basically it just makes it so much easier to tune your oscillators when you're wanting to do a polyphonic rather than leaving it on mono and then using multiples to tune each oscillator. Um, next mode is poly three. Let's make it there by going to B and then moving this back up. So poly three, obviously, um, three voice polyphony. Um, on this mode, also V3 is assigned to CC1, which, like I said before, that's modulation wheel. And then poly four, four note polyphony. And then the last note is, or, I'm sorry, the last mode is CC, which is basically V0 is pitch. Um, and um, the remaining voices are assigned to CC1, CC2, and CC3, which these are adjustable as well, which we'll get to later. And lastly, the device all has a MIDI to clock output, um, which basically just converts your MIDI clock signal to 5 volt pulse. Okay, so I wanted to use my Mo grandmother to demo the MIDI volts desktop, and basically the reason why is that you can convert this to a polyphonic synthesizer. So for the purpose of this demo, I'm going to use my grandmother keyboard to control the MIDI volts desktop. So in order to do this, you actually need to turn off the local mode. The caveat to this is you really only get two to three octaves of usable range. However, you could obviously just use any MIDI controller and leave local on. And this is actually better because you can set the octave range by pressing a note on the grandmother keyboard, thus giving you full polyphonic capabilities across the entire range on the grandmother. So in order to turn local off, just go to shift mode, hold button, and then sync. They'll start blinking, press D sharp, and then you press F twice. So I'm gonna go CV out on V0 to pitch in, and then we'll do CV out on V1 to oscillator two pitch in. And then as I said before, I created the unison mode to be able to tune easier. So let's go ahead and do that next. So I'm gonna switch this to unison, and then let's go ahead and go to drone. Duo, and then we 
can play duophonic. <laughs> Okay, so next up, let's do three voice polyphony. So once again, we are going to go the CV out of V2 into the right end of the modulation section. And then we'll go wave out to noise in. And I've actually already tuned the oscillator, so we don't need to do that. But then we'll go ahead and switch it to poly 3, and it's on the B side, so we need to push this down. And then. Okay, so with Mo Grandmother, you obviously can't get true polyphony because you really only have one VCA. However, just using the one envelope, you can still get some pretty cool results. Okay, so the last thing I wanted to mention is some of the customization you can do with Minivolts desktop. So before I ship each unit, I calibrate it here myself. Um, but you can also do this calibration if over time the unit begins to drift. Um, but it's all done over SysX messages, which I have available on my GitHub page. But some of the other things that you can change are the MIDI channel. You can change the pitch bend range up or down. And then also any of the CC mappings using SysX. So please reach out if you have any questions. Um, the unit's for sale now, so check out my Etsy page if you're interested. And I really appreciate your time. Thanks.